Hello to you all, welcome to my channel. My name is Marlies and today we're going to make some mini spools. I have a couple of wooden mini spools that I would like to age. I just want a layer to begin with and that is the picket fence from the distress paint line from Tim Holtz and I'm just going to dab it on with a brush. There is no need to strive for perfection because old vintage uh, items are always worn or stained. Just putting on one layer of paint for a base is perfect to work on even further, so later on in the video you will see me adding some more colors. This is what we are going to create, this is the end result and I'm going to show you how to get there. I chose two colors for my project, uh, a blue tone and of course a brown tone because I want it to look aged and brown is your go-to. Uh, I'm just putting some of the paint on my craft sheet, uh, dab my finger in it and also dab my finger onto the wooden spool. Do this a little bit randomly and no perfection is needed. I will repeat the same step with the blue paint color and just swipe it along the edges and dab it onto the wooden spool. To crunch up those mini spools a little bit more, I'm also using some ink. Uh, I am using the archival ink ground espresso, a darker brown, and I'm just using my blending tool to swipe uh, along all sides. Time to get some string or maybe some ribbon onto the spool. Choose one of your liking and also keep in mind that you choose uh, one that is mixing and matching with your project. And because I already have a project for Artemis, Andrea, uh, with some blue and red tones, I'm going to add those tones uh, to the mini spools too. The top and the bottom of the spool have a round shape and I would like to add a round shape uh, on top of that of paper and the Tim Holtz snippets, curator snippets are perfect because they have those cute little rounds in it. I want to make a fun little uh, hanger for the mini spool and I chose a blue tone uh, because like I said before I'm working in blue and red tones for the Artemis project, um, our collaboration. So I found this cute blue paper, cut out a label and I'm going to add a snippet on top, a label snippet, maybe a little remnant drop on top of that and then you can put it onto the leftover piece of string. I think this is a cute little extra for when you are doing a swap or a collaboration. Just a nice gift to add to your box. Uh, so I hope you liked my video and got some inspiration out of it. If you do so, please like, subscribe or comment down below. You can also support my work by becoming a patron of mine with extra benefits or go shop in my little coffee shop for digital kits. I have put all links in the description box below for you to visit. Thank you for your time and interest. Have a great day.